Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ave Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today we're going to be doing a little paint your nails with me. Today I'm going to be using Zoya's Briar. It's a lovely kind of muted rose shade. It's really pretty. It's a little bit like red toned mauve, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really love this one. It's from their fall collection, which was the sensual collection and I have been looking forward to wearing it all fall. I'm going to be using my favorite nail strengthener. This is the Orly Nail Defense. Um, I link this down below in my description box if you want to check it out. It's one of the only nail strengtheners that I have really had much luck with, um, and it's vegan, which is really nice. A lot of them are not vegan. I'm going to be using the Cirque Colors Liquid Laminate Top Coat. This is, I think, marketed as a quick dry top coat. It definitely dries really quickly for me, and I'm only using it today because my bottle is almost out, and so I probably have like two more manicures in here, and I just want to use it up. All right, um, so I'm just gonna put my base coat on here. This base coat, if you haven't used it before, it's really nice. It doesn't necessarily make your polish last any longer. It's not like a um, you know, sticky base coat or a long lasting base coat. It really is just a nourishing base coat. And for me, I have noticed the most difference um, when I consistently wear this under my manicures and when I consistently use a product that's jojoba oil based. Uh, I've tried some other oils and for me, they just don't quite cut it, but I've found that those two things, this base coat and the jojoba oil based products really help my um, peeling for my nails. They're in such a better place than they were like this time last year. And I'm hoping that they will stay that way even as our weather gets a little bit cooler. So we shall see. Usually in the summer, I don't have as much trouble with peeling, but in the winter and the fall is when my nails get a little crazy. Let me know down below if you have any tips or tricks that you use for peeling nails um, other than using a strengthening base coat. I also do a lot of buffing. So when I like file my nails, I um, also kind of buff the surface of any nails that have any peeling on them. And so I'll do that. Um, you know, probably about once or twice a week and that really helps keep the peeling down as well because it just helps those layers kind of stick to each other. You know, they don't come up anymore, which is really nice. All right, um, I did not mean for that to become a, like how I deal with peeling nails, but it's approaching winter time, so I don't know, maybe you're thinking about it too. Um, let me know again if you have any tips. While I wait for my first card to dry, I'm gonna talk about one of the October Topic Tuesday prompts. The first prompt was favorite orange polishes and I feel like I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I like oranges but <laughs> I don't necessarily like the oranges that I think people are referring to for this time of year. Um, I like in the fall these kind of nice like brick muted out oranges, these like rusty oranges. This is Sir Colors Bowery and this is Kale Polish Brick Sidewalk which is kind of like red, but it's a little bit rusty and orangey. And then I love this summer, Orly's Muy Caliente. So these are some of my favorite oranges. I do like kind of a standard orange polish on my toes. I like a lot of the Zoyas, like I like um, Arizona. It's a really nice bright one. But I think in the fall, these are the kind of oranges I want to wear. So I know that a lot of people gravitate towards that kind of Crayola Halloween orange, um, but that's not really something that excites me. In the fall, I want to wear these colors. And then another orange that I love is Muy Caliente. All right, and then here are a couple of my favorite oranges from Zoya. This one is Arizona, like I mentioned. I like this one a lot on my toes in the summer. It's really nice. And this one is Heidi. I also like these like orange coral shades. So again, neither of these are super Halloween-y, uh, so I don't know that this is what this prompt was trying to get at, but those are probably my five favorite oranges, I would say. All right, so here is the first coat of Briar. And I, like I said, I've been looking forward to wearing this polish pretty much since it came out in the sensual collection. I just, I think it's such a fun color. It is super different for me from any of the other Zoya's in my collection, which is really nice. I appreciate that not only am I excited to wear it, but also it's unique because sometimes, you know, I don't get both of those from Zoya's collections, but I really enjoy this one. And I just think it's such a good fall color. Like it's so warm and yet like dusty and fall appropriate. Oh, my cat is making some noise in the background. <laughs> he loves attention and so he will like do things that he knows will get our attention and then once you turn and look at him, he stops doing it. He's like such a little mischievous boy over there. Um, he's adorable. He'll like knock our glasses off the table, you know, and then like look at us like, oh, did you need those? Sorry, they were in my way. He's such a goofball, um, but we love him. All right, so I think the last video, the Paint My Nails With Me video that I posted, I started talking about my Invisalign journey because I had just started. I was on like week three, like I think I had just started week three or maybe even, I don't know, was still on week two. I can't quite remember, but I am 
now, actually almost done with week six, I'm like um, a couple days away from changing into a liner number seven, and I'm really excited about it. It's um, It's been fine. I feel like it's not as much work as I expected it to be. I think when I first heard, oh, I have to brush my teeth after every meal and, you know, before I could put my aligners back in, I was kind of like, oh, it's going to be pain. But I don't know. I feel like I've gotten down, you know, a habit. I'm, I'm in a rhythm and it's it's not so bad. I would say that the only thing that's kind of a, annoying is that they definitely hurt, you know, the first couple days that you're wearing them, which a lot of people warned me about. And some of you even commented <laughs> on that video and told me that it was going to hurt a little bit. And I think that's just a bummer just to think that it's going to hurt you know, my mouth's gonna hurt for a couple days a week, like every week for the next 30 weeks, <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it. That's what I keep telling myself. I think the other thing that's really hard about Invisalign is you just don't see results that fast. It's a really slow process. And so, you know, you're doing all this work and you're kind of thinking about it all the time. At least I, I'm thinking about my aligners all the time. It's not like I forget that they're there. It's not like I forget that I have them. I think about them all the time and you just don't see any progress, but I believe that I will. I've been like looking ahead at my aligners and like Thanksgiving, for example, is, you know, a little over a month away. That's well, I guess it's about a month away now. I don't know. Um, but I've been looking ahead at like the aligners that I'll be wearing for Thanksgiving and I can see progress. Like they look very different than the way my teeth look today. And so hopefully everything will go according to plan and I will be wearing those when I get to Thanksgiving. Um, but I'm pretty excited about it because it feels like I don't know. Looking ahead makes me feel motivated, I guess. Like week by week, I don't notice progress. Um, I am taking pictures, but it's just hard to tell. So anyways, that's my update. Um, it's fun, but I don't I haven't decided yet if I would recommend it to appear. Okay, the second Topic Tuesday prompt was favorite fall glitters. This is Lucky Lacquer Fall Foliage, and I was obsessed with this glitter when I saw it. It is the perfect fall glitter. It has like some gold and red and just like super sparkly. It's really, really pretty and I like that it's small, like it's not large pieces, and so I feel like you could put this on absolutely anything. And then this is not really a fall glitter, but this is called Show Me Your Beads, and it's from Addictive Cosmetics. And I did a video where I talked about my favorite polishes from this brand, and I love this one. And I feel like it has these like purple burgundy glitters, and then these like deep teal glitters, and then these gold glitters that just make it kind of warm looking. And so I feel like this works for fall. The colors work for fall. It's not quite fall you know, like leaves colors, but it does work for fall. And I think it's really pretty. I love the combination of the burgundy and the teal. It feels super unique to me. So I don't know. I don't wear a lot of glitter. If you know me, I don't wear a lot of glitter, but these two really struck me and kind of inspired me. I thought of tons of combinations that I could do. Whereas I feel like usually if I get a glitter that I'm not that excited about, I, I don't really you know, feel that inspiration. So I feel like that was a good sign. All right, so other than Invisalign, um, I would say October has been a pretty good month. I got to swatch some really fun polishes. Those Lucky Lacquers that I just talked about were such a great fall collection. I absolutely love that collection. Um, I got to swatch the Zoya Winter Collection, of course. I have the Orly uh, Winter Collection coming in the mail. It's supposed to get here in the next day or two. And depending on how quickly I get that reviewed, you might even see that video before you see this video. So hope you liked it. I haven't seen it yet, but if you saw it, hope you liked it. If not, it's coming very, very soon on my channel. Um, I also got to swatch a adorable trio from Pep Nail Vibes, which is such a fun little Crelly brand. It's so wonderful. I just think their polishes are so fun. You can tell that Meredith has a blast making them and that trio was so perfect for fall. It was adorable. So I feel like, yeah, I got to try some pretty fun polishes this month, which was awesome. And in my non-polish life, I accomplished a goal that I'm pretty proud of. Uh, my husband and I joined our local gym in July of this year, and I made myself a goal to go four times a week for um, like basically a quarter, so like August, September, and October. And I did it. Um, I missed two weeks. I gave myself a little bit of leeway <laughs> that week that I traveled a ton in September. Um, I only ended up going twice, but I feel like, you know, there was a lot going on and I was pretty proud. I didn't, I did do a ton of walking while I was traveling. So, you know, I got my steps in, but um, I only went to the gym twice. And so I feel pretty good about that. Um, I have not necessarily had a like consistent routine probably for the last like six years or so. Um, I used to run a lot when I was in college and then at the very beginning of my career, but it's 
been a little while since I had a consistent routine, so I'm feeling really proud about that. It's been really nice to go with my husband. I feel like it makes it easy for us to hold each other accountable. Um, it's really close to our house, <laughs> which is really nice. So yeah, I've been having a blast. All right, so while I let my second coat dry, I'm gonna answer a couple questions, a couple of Topic Tuesday prompts, and then it'll be time for top coat. So one of the prompts was favorite hand cream. And I'm gonna give you the most boring answer in the world. This is the hand cream that I use. <laughs> it is Nourishing Cocoa Butter Lotion from CVS. It retails for, I don't know, something ridiculous like $2.99, $3.99, it's super cheap. And I love it. It works really well on my hands. It's super hydrating. It smells amazing like cocoa butter. It's delicious and it's super soft. Um, all of the 360 Beauty stuff is cruelty free and this one is vegan. They, they have some other stuff that's not vegan, but this hand cream is vegan. This is what I use. Zoya does have a hand cream. They have the like naked manicure hydrate something system um, and it's actually not vegan. So it's cruelty free because all Zoya's products are cruelty free, but it's not vegan. That and the little spritzy thing that they have. So this is my favorite. I don't know. It's pretty cheap, but it does the job. All right, and then the next question was favorite blacks. And I am not someone who wears a black cream that often, but I will say that I do love these two sparkly blacks. Um, so this one is obviously Storm. This is a classic Zoya. It's so gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm considering wearing it for Halloween. I haven't decided yet. It's so beautiful. And then this one is Dahlia, and this is one of their pixie dusts. This is just an absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous black base with this like super dense silver shimmer in here. And this one actually dries down and probably looks like a little bit gray. Like it's 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 not quite as deep and dark as in black once it dries down. Um, I think probably because it's matte, but these are both absolutely stunning and I love them. And yeah, I don't really wear black creams, but these two, perfect. All right, it is top coat time. I would love to hear, as always, what you loved about October. Tell me if there's something that you're proud of, something good that happened to you. I like to hear, you know, what's going on. It's exciting to kind of celebrate at the end of a month, or I guess it's gonna be the beginning of the next month by the time I actually get this edited and posted, but I would still love to hear how October was for you. This is the end of this top coat, so that one didn't quite have enough on the brush to go all the way down, so I'm just gonna throw on another coat. This top coat dries super fast and I think it's super glossy. Um, it's not as accessible to me as some of the other ones that I use um, just because I can't get it like at Ulta or you know when I place a Zoya order I can get the glossy seal just like in my Zoya order. This one you have to order from Cirque Colors. So it's great. I think they gave it away for free in one of my recent orders. It was like a promo deal. Uh, but I don't buy it that often just because it's not that convenient. And my two favorite top coats are the Glossy Seal from Zoya and Pacifica Quick Dry Top Coat, um, both of which I can buy from Ulta. Um, so it's just like really easy to place an order and get them, you know, when I need them. Oh, and this is like at the annoying stage of almost being empty where I have to kind of like tilt the bottle <laughs> to get it to coat my brush, but it's okay. I'm excited for it to be empty because I have a lot of top coats on my top coat rack right now and I need to just use some up. All right, ooh, wow. I feel like we got to talk about a lot in this <laughs> video. We talked about Invisalign, we talked about my exercise habits, we talked about my favorite, we talked about my favorite orange and black nail polishes. This was a big, big video, lots of talking. And as always, if you like this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing so that we can sit down and hang out and chat about nail polish again sometime. Awesome, thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.